Good evening. Namaste. Satrikal everyone. It is such a pleasure for me to be here with all of you today. I have been following the sphere since it was first founded and have been in awe of it from its very inception. To be asked by Purnima to speak at this event, let me tell you, I certainly feel like a cool kid. To see the sphere grow over the years and become such a premier organization that brings South Asian culture to all our communities is really special. It is not just about bringing South Asian culture to the Pacific Northwest. The sphere educates, creates awareness, brings thought-provoking cerebral films to all of us. I have tried to elevate and fight for the most vulnerable in our society my entire life. Survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, trafficking, individuals and families struggling with mental illness, substance use disorder, trauma. To see this veer elevate the voices of those who are not heard, but need to be. Show the trauma of people that need to be seen and shatter stereotypes and confront prejudices is truly inspirational. This is how we challenge and change a society for the better. Giving a platform to emerging businesses, authors, and entrepreneurs, elevating the voices of those who are outside of the mainstream is how we bring the change we want to see in the community. One film at a time, one voice at a time. I do, however, have a favorite Tasveer program, Yoni Ki Bath. The power of Yoni Ki Bath is incomparable. I first saw the vagina monologues when I was a college student at Berkeley. So when Yoni Ki Bath started, I was very intrigued. I never expected it to be as powerful an experience as it is and continues to be each year. Every year, I think it can't get any better, and yet it does. I've had friends direct it, be in it, and every time it is impactful. One year, when Gauri was directing it, my children's Destination Imagination competition was the same weekend. But of course, I had to attend with all my other friends. Bala and I sent our children with our husbands, and we attended Yoniki Bath. We, of course, had to then go out afterwards with the rest of our friends to debrief. So at 1 o'clock, Bala and I decided to drive to Wenatchee to be with our children. I would do that again for Yoniki Bath in a heartbeat. The South Asian community has come a long way, not just speaking out loud, but accepting supposed taboos. Thanks to Yoniki Bath, Indian aunties talking about their own sexuality is now normal, as well as openly discussing transgender and non-binary issues. And as I age, I am often reminded of the video Uma created on aunties. And as I laugh at that memory, I remember that I too am now an auntie. The last year has been so very challenging for all of us, but what makes, us be makes it better is art. I wanna thank the Sphere for pivoting during the pandemic and continuing to feed our soul with this programming. I wasn't sure about a virtual Yoniki Bath last year, but the Sphere of course exceeded my expectations and I was able to watch it while on Zoom with my friends so we could debrief after. In fact, my Masi in Houston and my mother in California tuned in as well. Even during these toughest times, Tasveer continues to blaze the trail and find ways to enrich our lives. We are truly privileged to have such a life-altering organization in our midst. And I can't wait to see what you bring us next. Thank you.